what's up? Paris Christo here, your Looney Tooney cartoonist. And uh, welcome to another Toonbox Studio show where I get to render, speed render, the sketch that you guys chose from our previous live stream. Now, for those of you out there who are new, first of all, welcome to the channel, welcome to the pack. I hope you enjoy your stay. And um, this is an image that I drew in my previous live stream, as you just heard. And so if you really want to see the real-time sketching of this pose, then you can just pause this video right now and go and head over to my uh, video library of my channel and just find the live stream, which is it's actually the video before this one, right? So go ahead, you can enjoy that. It's real-time sketching, three poses in an hour, something like that, yeah. Now, let's talk about the previous live stream, right? I asked you, I asked everyone to let me know in the comments section the sketch that you want me to render. And I also posted um, the same poses on my Instagram accounts, which by the way, it exploded over there with comments on that post. I was super excited to see that. Big thank you to all my peeps over there on Instagram. Love you all. That's the kind of attitude I like to see. And that proves a point that I made a few months ago that Instagram is the number one platform for social engagement, right? I'm talking about engagement now. It beats um, Facebook and it also kicks YouTube's butt, right? When it comes to engagement, unbelievable. Such a tiny account, I've only got like nearly 20,000 followers over there. Compared to this account, oh my god, with this, I've got how many, I don't even know, I don't even know how many I've got on YouTube, is it 135,000 or something, right? And they, you know, the engagement there was like, I don't know how much percentage, but over like 300%. Uh, it was super amazing to see. Very interesting to see as well the statistics and the insight there of all these platforms. Amazing. So, anyways, and the outcome was you guys chose this one. I wanted you guys to pick the first one. I hinted it. The first sketch would have been ugamugalicious, man. It would have been, would have been puck. It would have been. Mm, I swear, from an artistic point of view, since I do know my own skill sets and I know what they will. The outcome will be the result of each one of those sketches. That one would have been the best one, guys. Right? I can't explain why. You have to see it to believe it. Right? <laughs> That's a good one. You have to see it to believe it. But yeah, it would have been perfect. I swear. You, you guys missed out. But I guess I'm going to have to come back. Right? I guess I'm going to have to come back with another speed video one. Because I have to do that one. It has to be done. By the way, look at that bird, man. Check that bird out. Right? Up to this day, I still don't know why, what's possessed me to draw that bird, right? What is it? Is it a penguin? What is it? A sparrow? Robin? I don't even know what it is. I drew it. I don't even know why I drew it. That bird. I'm looking at it. I'm just like, hmm, I just want to flick it. <laughs> I just want to flick it. Originally, I wanted to have my animal characters, my, you know, my, my, my bunny rabbit goggles, right? Gogs and my bear cub. You know, you guys know those two characters. But I think if I can remember that far back, um, there wasn't enough space on top of those. What are they? Bamboo trees? Uh, palm trees? I don't even know where they are. It had no space to fit them there, so I guess that's why I threw that bird, right? <laughs> Look at that bird, man. I was drawing, I was, I was like rendering this image. I was thinking, why was I? Why did I? Why did I draw this bird, man? What's the matter with me? Anyways, looking at cherry. That's yeah. Anyway, I guess. Oh, I guess it's cute. We can get away with cuteness, right? Yeah. All right, so. Let's talk a little bit about this image, all right? So the theme for the previous live stream was a deserted island, stranded, right? Those were the key words. And I drew, you know, those three. And in this image here, she's basically doing yoga in between these two trees. Now, um, I, I was inspired by yoga in general. I saw this one post on Instagram from one of these yoga, these yoga gurus doing some yoga fire, yoga flame movement, right? I'm joking. A street fighter, if you didn't know, right? <laughs> Anyways, and it was, she was basically, there was this one woman, she was like doing this pose in between two walls, not trees, but walls, in her corridor of her own house. And it's seriously fascinating, guys, to see what these people that do yoga week in, week out, what they can do with their bodies, right? After With a lot of hard work, of course, you get to see them, literally see them breaking the laws of physics, right? It's unbelievable. It's amazing to they actually show you what the human body can really do, right? Very inspirational. I find it inspiring. I don't know about you guys, but I find it very inspirational. And also for us artists out there, you know, if you're looking for a pose, yoga is the place to be. I'm being serious, guys. The poses that they come out, especially if you draw like female characters, if you're into like female character design and stuff, you're looking for a cool pose like this one, for example, 
Yoga is the place to be. Go and check out the yoga poses all over the web. They're everywhere. You know where they are, right? And check them out and test them out. You're going to come out with so many poses. And also, you can like tweak them and modify them as well to come up with some really nice poses as well. I was happy with it. This end result was awesome. I liked it. I didn't expect it to come out the way it did. And, um, you know, it, I went for the semi-realistic look. Uh, I didn't go for the 2D cartoony flat style that you guys you know always see me do lately a lot of you been asking me why don't I do this and it's only because it's really time consuming uh, but it's so cool I love the feeling uh, you know the feeling at the end when you see a sketch transform into a semi-realistic three-dimensional look right you know when all those tones and all those values come together as well to see that form and everything I'm not gonna say the word pop right I gotta throw this out there right man I don't understand why artists all over YouTube think it's cool to use the word pop or shall I say pop, right? I should, do you guys hate it when they say I I can't stand it, man? What is it? Snap, crackle, and pop? What? Come on, man! You say popcorn, man? What's the matter with you people? Huh? It's not cool. It sounds ridiculous when you say it. Pop, 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 pop. What? It's gonna pop out of the screen and smack you in the face? No, man. It's, it's the, they only have one word in their vocabulary to express their artwork. You draw like this and it pops. You paint like this and it just pops. I'm only playing, man. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm being serious. This, seriously, I can't hear that. I'm never going to use that word, although I've said it like five, six times so far in this video. But, you know, it's, it's just frustrating hearing them say that. You know, it's like they, you know, they think it's cool. They think it's cool to say that word. Pop. Yeah. You know, they, and they emphasize it, man. They put like oomph in it. They're like, they're like, you know, they're really calm and then they go, pop. Yeah, it makes the picture pop. Ah. I just can't stand hearing that word. Anyways, back to this. The final image came out quite nice. I was actually impressed. I, I didn't actually expect it to come out the way it, it has come out. Well, it did, but not the way it did. Does that make sense? I don't know if it makes sense. But I was, I was happy with the end result, and um, I hope you guys are happy, because since you guys chose this image, you better be happy. <laughs> you better be happy. The next stream, right? Uh, make sure you guys hit that bell. <laughs> next to the, make sure you pop that bell right <laughs> next to the subscribe button, right? Or oh, the unsubscribe button. Just, just don't unsubscribe, right? Yeah, hit that bell so that YouTube can notify you. Because I know a lot of you missed out on my live streams, and uh, it's a shame because it'll be cool to hang out with all of you. And I'm gonna have a guest this time. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna always have a guest, guys, because I can't keep up with the chat. You guys type so fast. I see something, I see a comment, and by the time I read it, it just disappears like that. And then you know, so it'd be cool if I had an extra pair of eyes. I might have a regular or I might have a guest, right? One of the two, you know? And um, so it would be really, really cool to see. By the way, so if you want to see this final image, go and check it out on my Facebook fan page. The links will be in the description. And also on my Instagram account, not only will I be posting this image, but I'm going to be posting the steps as well, right? So check that out as well. Links in the description. Check it out. Look at my sand popping around. <laughs> Look at Cherry looking pretty. My silhouette hair. I love the hair. And oh yeah, there's that bird. <laughs> Look at that bird. Should we just flick it? Nah, it's cute. Look at it. Anyways, guys, I'm Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com, and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye for now.